Alright, Shalom. Kahala Yahweh, Bahasham Yahusha, Bahasham Mukhabalash. Ever honest to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, his blessings and salutations to the sincere Akim, labor and all truth and sincerity. Alright. And uh, Lord willing, I'm going to make a quick but edifying lesson. Uh, just pretty much going into a uh, Elaborating on scripture, man, through the spirit, you know, just uh, something I was thinking about. All right, so uh, Second Timothy chapter two, and the point is in verse four, but I'm starting at verse three. All right, Second Timothy two and three. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Okay, it said. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right. So we are to endure hardness, man. Okay. Being a part of this truth, you know, if you laboring in this thing sincerely, all right, you have to uh, endure it. You know, that's, you know, something that we must do, man. Okay. Um, it says, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right. So, we have to have uh, faith, okay, and endure in this thing, man. All right. Whatever uh, adversities or uh, afflictions, all right, that we may come upon. All right, doing our walk in this faith, we have to endure, man. Okay. Uh, it says, verse four: No man that warred entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. Okay. Uh. 2 Timothy 2 and 4. No man that war entangle, his, entangle himself with the affairs of his life. All right? You know, we in, uh right now more so in the spiritual war. All right? And it said he that, uh, no, it says that no man that war entangle himself with the affairs of his life. Right? So we shouldn't be caught up in the things of this world, man. All right? The things that we have to, you know, uh, deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, you know what I'm saying, moving, maneuvering in the world while, it, you know, being a part of this truth, those things shouldn't, uh, I should say, uh, over overtake us, man, distracting us from this word, man, okay? We are going to have to go through whatever it is that, you know, brothers, different uh, brothers have to go through, you know, in, this, in, in you know, moving through the world, man, okay? But those things shouldn't become a distraction to this word or to this truth, all right? This word comes first, all right? It says, 2 Timothy 2 and 4, no man that war entangle himself with the affairs of this life. Right? You know, and like I said, man, we're in a, you know, right now, we're in a more so of a spiritual war, man. All right? And if we entangle ourselves with the affairs of this world, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it may be, you know, different brothers dealing with different circumstances or different things, man, but, you know, um, whatever it is, uh, you know, family, you know what I'm saying, financially, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, just, just to name a few different examples, man, you know what I'm saying, all brothers are going through different things, man, you know, but the point being that we shouldn't let, you know, those things become a distraction unto us, all right, from uh, 
pretty much serving your whole boss, you know, shot. All right. Being a part of this ministry. All right. Doing our job, our duties, man. That we were called to do. All right. Whatever lot that we, that was, uh, stole the partners, man. Okay. Those things shouldn't become, uh, more of a priority, I should say, than doing this work, man. Okay. Uh, it says Second Timothy two and four, no man that war entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who had chosen him to be a soldier. All right, so we were called uh, to be soldiers of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. Okay, so to keep it uh, you know simple and short, man, you know we shouldn't have let the affairs of this world, whatever that, whatever it is. You know, that we had to deal with in our day to day, those things shouldn't become a distraction unto us, man. You know, um, you know, yes, uh, we have to deal with our responsibilities, man. Okay, not to, you know, to keep it simple, man. The scriptures say, use the word, but don't abuse the word, man. All right, you know, yeah, there's certain things we have to do, to, uh, you know. To maneuver through our day to day, man, but you know, we shouldn't let those things become a distraction or certain situations that may occur. All right, we shouldn't stress ourselves and uh, become more entangled into those things, worrying about how we're gonna deal with them and focus on, uh, put more focus on, uh, you know, trying to deal with those certain things then uh uh doing our part in this word man or right, being a part of this ministry man whatever the case may be all right we should not uh as the scripture said man entangle ourselves in the affairs of this life all right have faith pray unto you how about you how shot all right seek counsel if need be uh amongst Akim all right like minded men Okay, and continue to push forward. Do what you got to do, all right, to move forward in this thing, man. Whatever the situation is, man. All right. Uh, that was pretty much the point, man. Just uh, once again, in closing, man, just uh, 2 Timothy 2. I'm going to start from 3 again, all right. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shammashiach, right? And uh, real quick, man, it said endure hardness as a good soldier in Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right, because when you come into this thing, man, all right, we're going to be put through uh, different uh, afflictions, man, different hardships, man. And each brother is going to be tested differently through the spirit of Yahweh Shah Mashiach to see what kind of man you are, to see if you're a man of integrity, man, right? If you're a man of this word, as you uh, proclaim the to uh, preach on the highways and byways, man. All right, when it, you know, comes down to it, okay? But it said endure hard. This is a good soul, uh, soldier, man. All right? We are, you know what I'm saying, going to go through different, certain, you know, as I said, man, certain brothers are going to go through different things, man. All right? Then others, all right? But, you know, whatever it is, man, all right, uh, you have to have, uh, you have to endure it, man. All right. Now have faith in your heart about you have a shot, man. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. Don't tap out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it said, 2 Timothy 2 and uh, 3, Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. No man that war entangle himself with the affairs of his life, that he may please him. Who had chosen him to be a soldier. Okay. So once again, man, uh, just to stress the point of uh, having endurance, man, and with that, you know, you have to have faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. All right. So whatever the uh, situation is, man, you know, uh, you know, first and foremost, man, you have to, to, uh, Pray unto Yahweh Shah and not 
try to deal with it in a carnal sense, all right, uh, how you going to do, uh, deal with it yourself, all right, you know, pray to your about you, my shot, seek counsel of, uh, you know, I can, like-minded brothers that's dwelling in the spirit, okay, You know, those just examples, man, all right, how to deal with it and, you know, don't let those, uh, whatever situations, man, occur upon you, uh, become a distraction unto you, man, okay, and, uh, that was pretty much it, uh, pretty much the point I wanted to make, you know, just, uh, something, you know, uh, I myself is dealing with, you know what I'm saying? And uh hopefully, Lord willing, you know, it was edifying to uh to brothers, man, you know. Um with that all praises, glory and honor to Yahweh, for Hashem Yahusha, for Hashem Rakadash, the bonus to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings and salutations to the sincere I can labor and all truth and sincerity. All right. Um 